Hey everyone, wanted to do a quick update on the lettuce comparison grow. So let me move this up a little bit. So this is the general hydroponics. This is the maxi grow. And as you can see, things are looking okay. Um, the edges of the leaves are a little bit funky. But it looks like they're supposed to have a little darker color, but this, this leaf here is a little bit weird. Um, and these are the uh, Butterhead Bib Lettuce. This is the Little Gem Butterhead, and this is the one we're watching. And this is the one we're watching back here, and this is the Master Blend Tote. These are Iceberg Lettuce. And then, uh, but, but these are the two that we're watching for the comparison grow. So they, they do look pretty good. Um, this one looks a little bit fuller, um, but this one was a little bit farther behind when we started. So, I mean, I would say they're growing at about the same rate. Um, neither one of them are uh, looking too bad. This one does have a little bit of funky color on the leaves, almost like some kind of deficiency. Um, but again, I didn't test pH. I didn't test... Um, PPMs or anything like that so this again is just the water I don't know how the general hydroponic affects the pH um, because I didn't test it I know the master blend drops the pH level so that's something that I'll probably have to do um, actually I'm probably going to grow these other two totes down here out with general hydroponics and I will check pH on those because I want to see what the general hydroponics does to the water's pH but overall, everything seems to be doing okay. Um, the, the, all the lettuce, you can see all the lettuce is doing good. The, uh, I still have these stupid little gnats. Um, I have to get some uh, apple cider vinegar down here. But yeah, these little, head, gem, little gem butter heads and this one um, both look good. Actually, I'll show you inside. You can see. Looks pretty good. I'll have to look at the bottom. The bottom's got the... I don't know if that's just bubbles. And then we'll look in the general hydroponics. So even the general hydroponics has a little bit of a... that little oil slick to it. So that's kind of weird, but... Roots look good. Everything looks nice, white, and healthy. Same thing with this one. I didn't even pay attention to that. See, everything looks nice and healthy. I'm going to go ahead and try to stir that up a little bit. Just to see what it does. Let me sit down here for a second. Take you along with me here. See if it's just sediment. Yeah. That's weird. It's just kind of sediment. I think you can see that in there. You can see the marks I made on the bottom. So now we have to put our hands in there and see what it is. I guess I'm just kind of like that. It's like a white powder. Yeah, I got a little bit on my finger. Now you can see that. It's a little white powder. And it's it just goes away. That's weird. I've never seen that one before. But yeah, that's interesting. The uh, Master Blend doesn't have as much of the little, uh, I'll call it the little oil slick on the top, and the General Hydroponics does. But again, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the tote, totes that are causing it, but I, I did the same grow you know, this is, see, that's weird. I don't know if you saw that. You see the stuff floating there? That just showed up when I moved my finger around. Let me see if I can balance the lid. It's almost like crystals. Interesting. I guess I'm going to have to look into that as to uh, why that does that. Maybe I'll stir this one up a little bit too. See if it breaks those up a little bit. 
just kind of weird. Oops, almost knocked the camera over. This one's got a, a reddish color substance on the bottom. So many interesting things going on. Well, we'll still watch it. Make sure it grows good. Okay. And actually, what I'm going to be doing with these two, I believe, um, I'm going to start more seeds, I think, tonight for this one. These are actually just seeds in here. This is still just water. I'm going to put uh, General Hydroponics Maxi Grow in both of these. And I think I'm going to do one as a cracky style. And I think I'm going to do this one as a DWC. Which means I'm going to put an air stone in it and just run some air. And then I want to compare those two with the same nutrients. So I'm probably going to do the same seeds. Um or at least one of the same seeds so that I can compare the two side by side. This is a this is actually a tango leaf lettuce and the rest of them are the bronze magnet. So looks like that's a that's what I'm thinking about doing anyways. Um, I did get an air pump. I asked for one for Christmas. So I did get an air pump. Actually I'll show you that. So I got an air pump and air stones. Uh, I do have to go get the uh, the quarter inch air line, but this has uh, this will feed four totes. So I wanted the one that would feed four totes, just in case I decide I want to do eventually next grow after this is done. If I wanted to do them all DWC and see how that worked out. But that's it for now. Um, that's the update. Uh, get some more seeds going for the fourth tote, and then we'll uh, we'll do a comparison on that too. Kratky versus DWC. All right. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, please click that like button. Please subscribe and leave me a comment. All right. Till next time. Get out there and grow something. See ya.